evening, YouTube. You guys are not watching another segment of the Cali Effect King of Games. And today, we're going to be bringing you a Mermel deck profile post-circuit break. That's right. Abyss Neri completely breaks this deck. Now, I actually built this, this build with a budget in mind. I didn't want to include Ash Blossoms because I do think that this deck right now is a very casual deck. I might do an update on it and give you an extremely competitive deck, but this is what I have right now. I really am enjoying it. On to the deck profile. Three copies of Mermel Abyss Megalo. This card is now even more important than ever with the inclusion of the Nimble Monsters. Nimble Angler needs to be sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard in order to gain its effects. So Megalo is maxed out because it is a card that we can use to tutor it to the graveyard as well as gain the effects of Mermel Abyss Megalo. Abyss Steus is also a card that is now even more important than ever with Abyss Scenery because this card can search our um, Mermel Abyss... What is that card's name? Mermel Abyss Osha to our hand and tutor so many awesome plays. One copy of Mermel Abyss Mander. This card is a godsend. Okay, so banishing it from your graveyard allows you to increase or decrease the levels of your Mermel Monsters. Awesome for a Hope Harbinger or Bahamut Shark play just by using this card. One copy of Abyss Gun. I would have loved to play more than one copy, mainly because we upped the count of Mermel Monsters in this special summons cards. It's also abusable by the effect of Abyssius, um, Mermel Abyss Megalo, and Swap Frog. So it's an awesome card on its own right. I'm definitely going to be looking towards playing more copies in an advanced version. One copy of a Mermel Abyss Pike. Not only does it search all of our level threes, but it's a Mermel monster that is level four in its name. So it's great for Abyss Osha. And then one copy of one of the more important stars of this deck. I really think that this card is mandatory, especially if you want free Mastar Boy plays, drawing cards and discarding cards. This card is awesome. It's also searchable by Mermel Abyssius. Just an awesome card. I, I can't even really explain to you how great this card is. Two copies of Abyss Neri. Now, this card, at first glance, I was very disappointed in it reading its card effects. You discard it, you have to destroy a water monster from your hand or field, and it gains that monster's attack, but that doesn't seem like enough. Plot twist, this card is more than enough. With the induction of Miss Starboy, you can destroy your Miss Starboys to have your monsters gain 1400 attack and then gain the effect of Miss Starboy to add water monsters from your graveyard to his hand. It's also on field effect, it's very nifty. Being able to special summon it with the effect of Abyss Osha and then send it to the graveyard from the Starboy automatically nets you a draw one a discard play, allowing you to get deeper into your strategy. It also triggers your nimble monster, so it's like why not play this card? It is extraordinarily good. Three copies of Nephthymus, uh the Atlantean Prince. This card is really good at searching Dragoons and adding Sea Serpent Monsters from your deck to your hand. Three copies of Abyss Infantry. Um, we run that with one copy of... Where it's at? One copy of Atlantean Marksman. Now, the reason why I switched it up this time around with three infantry and one marksman is because there are a lot more prevalent face-up monsters and spells and traps than there are face-down. Marksman is there because it's another Atlantean monster. Two copies of Abyss Dragoon, or Mermel, or why well, I say Abyss Dragoons, Atlantean Dragoons. This is the main reason why we even decide to run Prince by sending it to the graveyard to activate a water effect. You can search a Sea Serpent monster from your deck to your hand. That includes Megalo, Deep Sea Diva, Prince itself, or even a Mulling Glacia. One copy of Deep Sea Diva. This is going to tutor the Atlantean Prince to your side of the field. Three copies of Swap Frog. Now, Swap Frog has a lot, a lot, a lot of plays in this deck. You can send a M Nimble Sunfish to Spell Summon Swap Frog, send a Frog card or Aqua Monster from your deck to your graveyard, but more importantly, you now get to use your Nimble Angler's effect to Spell Summon more monsters to tutor so many other awesome plays. It's also a great bait card, being able to give you early access to totally awesome, then, therefore destroying and uh, preventing your opponent from activating monster effects when you go in for the OTK. This card is really good in here. One copy of Ronnie Ton and Ronin Boy. This guy is the complimentary piece to Swap Frog. Three copies of Nimble Angler. Now, this card is a new addition to, uh, I don't want to say that it's a new addition. I believe that a lot of people have tried Nimble, uh, Nimble inside of Mermails, but I want to say it's a new addition to my uh, Mermel builds, mainly because I didn't think that this card was that good. And still to this day, I still think it's a very good card, but not really game-breaking, not really like a must-have into the deck. So when it's into the graveyard, you can spend some nimble monsters from your deck to your side of the field. This gives you a free link play. The real reason why I like it and its true value is that you can use this effect by discarding for Swap Frog. You can use 
use it to discard Megalo over T assist and then gain two monsters to make a free Mastar Boy. That's one thing I really do like about this card is that it's a free Mastar Boy. We play it with three copies of Nimble Beaver. Now, Nimble Beaver is a monster that when it's normal summon, it special summons a Nimble monster to your side of the field. So it's a normal summonable free Star Boy. I think it's pretty good in that aspect. The last card is Nimble Manta. Uh, Nimble Angler can only summon monsters that aren't Nimble Angler to your side of the field. So you kind of find yourself needing to activate this card effect at least twice. And Manta is the other Nimble card that I do run to fulfill those conditions. Two copies of Aqua Spirit. Aqua Spirit is really good with the Abyssia's play. And then Mullen Glacia. Mullen Glacia is an awesome card. Now, I was actually running 41 cards, but this is a grand total of 36 water monsters. Monsters. That should make every single one of your discard water effects live. We don't run Kaiju Gamma Seal. And I really think that is a card that you could run, but I was looking more towards a competitive aspect. And Gamso isn't great unless you're kaijuing a masterpiece. But ultimately, if you guys can find room for it, then go ahead. This isn't the final build, but it's a really saucy build. That's it for the uh, monsters, for the spells. One Raigeki, one Dark Hole. This Foolish Burial is actually supposed to be one for one. And then one copy of Abyss Scale. To be honest, now that I think about it, I would definitely take out the Dark Hole for the one for one. And I'd leave the Foolish Burial. Reason behind it is because Foolish Burial, you send the Nibble Angler and it's a free rank play. It's literally just right out there, free. That's good. It's awesome. Dark Hole and Raigeki, or Raigeki is for board clearance. The Abyss Scale Mizushi is for the OTK play and it searches for uh, through your Abyss Megalo. And then I already explained the Foolish Burial. That's going to sum up the main board at 40 for the extra deck, and I'm telling you, this deck is just really good. Two copies of Miss Star Boy. Now, when I say that this card is the star of the deck, I'm not kidding. It really is. Being able to summon this card continuously is awesome. Mainly because when it's destroyed, cough, cough, when you activate a Bissonary, you can tutor water monsters from your graveyard back into your hand. Two copies of Firewall Dragon. Now, if you guys have seen the earlier Mermel deck profile, we actually show you how to make a loop. I'm actually proxying this card. This is supposed to be... Uh, Galaxy Tomahawk. I don't know where I put that card. But basically what Tomahawk does is you detach a material, you special summon as many, or detach two materials, you special summon as many tokens to your side of the field, and then you wind up tutoring those for double firewall dragon. Now, I know I was actually, uh, somebody did post on the other comment, what if we don't want to play links? Now, I'm not going to like call you out on anything because I do think that you are very much limiting yourself for not playing links. But if you say you can't afford the Firewall Dragons, uh, then that's perfectly fine. You can just take these out and you can play cards like Trishula, Number 11 Big Eye, or Kristan Quandax. And those are very viable options if you don't have access to Firewall Dragon. They are pretty expensive right now. Uh, one copy of Proxy Dragon. Now, even without the uh, Firewall combo, Proxy Dragon is still a really good card because you gain so many access to your level 2 monsters. Sometimes you make them a Star Boy, and then with the other one, you make the Proxy Dragon. And now, you have extra link space. That's it for the link monsters. We run one copy of Hope Harbinger. Very easily made. All you have to do is send that Abyss Mander to the graveyard. Two copies of Bahamut Shark. This card is stupid easy to make. You could actually drop one for Honor I was playtesting with Honor and it does gain the effect very nicely. Now, or you could play Tornado Dragon or number 41. I think that those are all awesome choices. But Bahamut Shark is really where it sits at home. Being able to gain your Dragoon's effects just by detaching Bahamut Shark and gaining a totally awesome. I mean, it's totally awesome three copies of totally awesome there are so many ways to make this card unfortunately you cannot make it with the nimble monster so the nimble monsters are practically limited to just making star boy fueling other link plays and having water monsters on the field to activate for abyss scenario or your mega mode but totally awesome i mean totally awesome being able to negate an opponent's card effect set it to your side of the field and then gain the effect to add water monsters between totally awesome and miss star boys you should never run out of resources there's actually games where i played where i had like two cards in hand and through finessing through miss star boys and totally awesome i have five cards in hand ready for my next turn to otk my opponent this actually gives the deck a lot of longevity so it's really fun to play with this new version one copy of abyss dweller uh this card is just really mandatory with mermos it gives all of your modern monsters 500 attack and it gains you the effect of dragoons so i mean necessarily you don't necessarily need it to stop your opponent's graveyard effects that's an added bonus it's amazing but you do need it to gain your dragoons on the spot one copy of this card is a spicy as tech so i've noticed in Yu-Gi-Oh a lot of monsters do change their attack and defense nowadays so not only number or number oh i completely 
did not know its name. Number 103, Ragna Zero. Not only is this card a water monster that gains the effect of your Dragoons, it also allows you to destroy monsters on the field. And then last is the one copy of Mermel Abyss Gaios. These cards are really awesome. I am excited to show you guys some combos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the combo tutorial, I just want to say literally, any time or during either player's turn, you can use this card, discard it, destroy a water monster from your field or graveyard and give that monster attack. Just keep in mind, we actually have a hand trap that is searchable in the Mermel build. This creates so many OTKs that weren't apparent when before we used to have it. Like this card's nasty. It's a combo piece card in its own. So with that being said, we're going to introduce you guys to the new combo in, uh, or the new Abyssius uh, Aquaman. Aqua Spirit combo. What you're going to need is Abyssius and Aqua Spirit and any water monster. I'm just going to go ahead and put Abyss. No, actually, I can't put that right there. I'm just going to go ahead and put Moling Glacia in my hand. What you're going to do is you're going to activate Tias, discarding the water monster to special summon itself. Tias' effect is then going to trigger to add Mermel Abyss Osha from your graveyard to your hand. You are going to normal summon the Osha, targeting the Abyss Tias to special summon Abyss Neri to your side of the field and Abyss Mander to your side of the field. Now, here's where I want to pause you guys on the combo right here. If you guys don't have the Aqua Spirit, a level 3 Mermel monster will will work fine as well. TS will now go into the graveyard and you will use both the Osha and the Abyss Neri to link to summon. And that's going to grant you the Mastar Boy. Can you see all this? Is this all good? Okay. The Abyss Neri is going to activate since it was sent from the field to the graveyard, which is going to draw you a card and then force you to discard a card. Now, if it just so happened to be a Molin Glacia that you drew, you can discard another monster, spell summon a Molin Glacia, and wreck your opponent that's just awesome or if it was a um if it was an abyss gun you can draw a discard special summon and continue on with some more combos but we're not going to say anything about that you're going to banish one of your water monsters to special summon the aqua spirit use both the mander and the aqua spirit to make the bahamut shark Bahamut Shark to detach the Mander to Special Summon. Totally awesome to your side of the field. Now, not only was that a car, a combo that got you five water monsters in your graveyard for a free Bowling Glacier almost no matter what, it also only required two cards plus a discard to activate TS's effect. Another combo I want to talk to you about. And I'm telling you, this deck gets really nasty with Molin Glacia. What you're going to need is almost a pseudo four car combo. You're going to need a Megalo, uh, you're going to need Nibble Angler. Uh, Nephthibus and an additional water monster to discard with Megalo. So you're going to activate Megalo's effect, special summoning it to your side of the field, discarding the angler and the additional water monster. We're going to say it's Swap Frog. I mean, we do play 36 water monsters, so that might be a thing. Activate Megalo's effect to search the Abyss scale, and then activate your Nimble Angler to special summon two Nimble monsters to your side of the field. That's going to be Nimble Beavers. Use these two Nimble Beavers to link summon into your Mastar Boy. Where's the Mastar Boy? Into your Mastar Boy. Now, normal summon Atlantean Prince and use Prince's effect to send Atlantean Dragoons from your deck to your graveyard to add any Atlantean monster from your deck to your hand. I'm just going to go ahead and add infantry right now. Dragoon's effect is going to trigger, and you guys won't believe what you can add right now. Mullen Glacia. So now you get to summon Mullen Glacia and discard two cards from your opponent's hand if your opponent, or if it is not the first turn, you can activate Molin Glacia or Megalo to tribute the Prince, special summon the Atlantean Dragoons. And let's actually say, for instance, that this Ron and Tonin was, I don't know, a marksman? That's going to leave your opponent with two less cards in their hand and possibly game if you have marksmen on your side of the field attacking for damage to your opponent's life points and special summoning another monster to your side of the field. This deck is really good. Also, just make sure you equip it with the Abyss Scale and don't be bad like Cali Effect because then this Megalo can now attack twice and it's 3200 on its own right. Or actually 3700 because of the Mistar Boy. Now, there was another combo, which is the last combo I'm going to show you, and it requires Totally Awesome and, of course, Nimble Angler. What you're going to do is you're going to Special Summon Totally Awesome, or I'm sorry, not Totally Awesome, Swap Frog by discarding your Nimble Angler and activate both effects. That's going to bring out two Nimble Beavers to your side of the field, as well as send... Ronnie boy to the graveyard and boy is finna be a breeze use both nimble beavers 
from your field to special summon Miss Star Boy. Now return Ron and Ton into your hand, and since you did not normal summon, summon it again, sending another copy of Swap Frog from your deck to the graveyard. Activate the effect of Ronnie Boy to special summon himself, banishing the Swap Frog, and then use both of these cards to exceed summon for a 2700 attack. Totally awesome that you will be able to recurse two water monsters when they are sent to the graveyard. Thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. I really hope you guys enjoyed this combo tutorial. Look, my nigga, I'm going to tell y'all just like I tell y'all every video. Sell me some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards, man. I need that cardboard, all right? Or you can just buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards from me. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.